Jefferson Hack is the co-founder of the youth culture and fashion magazine Dazed and Confused, now part of the Dazed Group, which he also founded and where he's the editorial director. Mr. Hack recently released the first ever magazine with LED screen technology on its cover featuring a moving, high-definition video of the singer Rihanna on the front page. I caught up with him at the Financial Times Digital Media Conference in London and started by asking him about the future for print publishing. I've been really trying to do this for a long time to bring this sort of technical layer or technology layer to, 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 um, to print and kind of be, you know, sort of be a, in a way to kind of end the debate about print versus digital by just being the first print publication to be digital. I had no idea what I was getting into, man. I just thought that wouldn't it be a great dream to have a moving, a full moving image cover of a magazine and could, you know, I, I knew I was shooting Rihanna, you know, I wanted to have Rihanna move on the cover. I kind of knew what it wanted to look like. I could see it on the shelf. The brief to Liam was, I, I want to be able to see Rihanna wink at me from 20 meters away on the shelf. That's, that was a technology brief. It raises a, a big question because obviously the print, print sales across publishing are, you know, under a bit of pressure across the industry. Publishers are looking for new models, doing things online. How far away do you think we are from a magazine with fully moving video pages? I mean, is that a real? Could that become a reality at some point? You know, it was a high-end, low-run consumer um, piece of hardware. Really, at the end of the day, it was kind of positioned as a beautiful design object, mm. um, or a magazine as a collectible design object. But um, to take this into a more mass market is going to take. You know, that was the beautiful thing that came from this was that level of kind of debate that came from it and that kind of the, the R&D of those big technology companies getting behind seeing that there could be a market for this. There is a debate. There is a desire for this. I mean, the, the, the PR that came from this and then the ensuing conversations that have happened since this show that there is an audience appetite for it and an industry appetite for it. So now, you know, it's down to the R&D. Dazed was built on a reputation for being cutting edge. But the company Mr. Hack founded is now more than 20 years old. Staying relevant with millennials, who can be elusive, is a challenge for all big media companies. It's, uh, it's an audience that don't engage with traditional media. You know, when we speak to brands, when brands come to us and ask how they can engage with our audience, we tell them they have to, you know, we give them our expertise and we, we, we help kind of handhold them through that, navigate that space and it's about making authentic work. Our audience just don't want any to be sold to. They don't want to be, you know, force-fed the press release. It's just like they're too, you know, they're too aware, too sophisticated, too time poor. You know, they've got to be engaged with inspiration. The ads have to be highly creative. They have to be original. The company started as a magazine. You publish multiple magazines. You do other things now too, but you still believe in the power of print don't you is that, is yeah, that we're fair? an outlier we're an anomaly yeah you know we're here to kind of like stick a thorn in the establishment and go look it can be done different right you know you don't have to just play by the same rules as everyone else there's loads of rules here you know everyone thinks that millennial is like one mindset of course it's not one mindset you know we're talking about you know <laughs> millions and millions and millions of individual mm. young people mm -hmm. who all have different aspirations and dreams and thoughts and hopes and you know you can't categorize them into one mindset and think they're just going to like this kind of content it just right. doesn't work like that great jefferson thank you very much for joining me good